Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor and myeloma cancer coach. Welcome. This is the second video to uh, a very important blog post regarding multiple myeloma in the coronavirus. After I um, wrote about uh, intravenous vitamin C as a possible potential therapy recommended by the Shanghai government for uh, cancer survivors for the coronavirus, I began thinking about um, the, the issue of uh, me being immunocompromised uh, cancer patients, myeloma patients in particular, survivors being immunocompromised. And it occurred to me I didn't really know what it meant to be immunocompromised or to have a, a less than 100% uh, immune system. So there are a couple of articles all the way down the post uh, regarding the definition of or what it means to be immunocompromised. Um, interestingly, uh, it's Wikipedia that has the most specific information about what it means to be immunocompromised and specifically talks about uh, T cells and B cells, something extremely important to us myeloma survivors, but also it talks about chemotherapy and an autologous stem cell transplant and what chemo does to our white blood cells, um, also compromising our immune system. So we myeloma patients have lots to think about. Okay, in, in addition, there is a link to a short, a very interesting informative video um, given by um, the Life Extension uh, Foundation. The, this is the brand of, the, of supplements that, that I take. I'm not necessarily recommending those supplements, but this video is extremely informative. Essentially, the, the takeaway is that supplement nutritional supplementation is good for our immune function. Um, nothing fancy. Um, not specifically for intravenous vitamin C, but vitamin C um, oral supplementation, vitamin D oral supplementation, both of which I do. And I recommend in the Myeloma Cancer Coaching Guides uh, Supplements Guide, um, there are supplements like um, omega-3 fatty acids, um, the probiotics, um, the, all of which are, <clears throat> are good for our immune systems, immune boosting, um, even more specifics about um, curcumin, uh, green tea extract, those kinds of things. So I recommend watching that short but informative video also linked in the post below. Again, I'm, I'm not talking about coronavirus so much as immune compromised immunodeficiency. The whole topic, that then there's a link um, in the, the Wikipedia post about infectious diseases, not just viruses, but there are, I don't want to sound negative, but there are a host of uh, things that we can catch out there. The world is filled with uh, <clears throat> uh, things that we can catch viruses, bacteria, all manner of things. So it is in our best interest, especially if we're myeloma patients and survivors, to exercise, eat nutritionally, clean diet, nutritional supplements, um, take care of ourselves. I know that sounds um, simple, but I think it in this time of the coronavirus, it's a message that we can all take to heart. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to scroll down the page, send me a question, send me a comment. I, I will reply immediately. Hope all is well, and thank you for your time.